Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. This morning I made this card using this aperture die which is a sort of swirly heart and dot die and some flower dies. This intricate one with its uh, shadow and some other little dies that I just happen to have in my stash and I thought I'd show you how I made it but also create something a little bit different so it's not exactly the same. So this is a roughly four by six card. And for this card, I made a full size panel and stuck it on. There's no border and I haven't added a sentiment. I may do so, but I might just leave it like that to make it a really flexible card. It could be a Valentine's card or a birthday card or a celebratory card, a wedding card even. So uh, that's the card that I made. Now onto the card that I'm going to make. So first things first, I'm going to run this linen textured cardstock panel through my die cutting machine with this die down here about, well, it only occupies, say, half the panel, leaving this nice and empty. So it qualifies as a clean and simple card with lots of empty white space. So I'll do that and then come back to you. So here we have my four by six inch card and my panel. I cut it down a little bit, came in the edges, so that on this card there's a bit of a border all the way around. And I'm going to stick this to the card blank before I do anything else and use some foam tape to pop it up. So I've added foam tape around the die cut holes to support it so that the card doesn't flop down in the middle. So that's the main part of the card put together. Now to create the coloured bits. I'm going to use my Prima Metallic Accents. This is a hybrid palette. It's got my favourite paints from the original palette and the pastel palette all joined together. And I'm just going to use, let's think, we did pink and purple for the previous one. I think I might do some blue and purple this time, just for a bit of variation. So to help my paints spread out, I'm going to spritz my mixed media paper to give it lots of water and then paint on the blue. With this, you really do want mixed media paper or watercolour paper because uh, I'm using a lot of water and any other paper will just fall apart with this amount of water on it. Now I'm going to dry this with my hair dryer. That's not completely dry, but it's dry enough to take some splattering. And I'm going to use this dark gold. It's almost orange and orange and blue are complementary colours. They're on the opposite sides of the colour wheel. So they complement each other really well, uh, bring out the best in each other. So a bit of orange and blue will go nicely together. So I've got some big blobs and I'm going to do some small blobs as well. If you just want small blobs, make sure you haven't got too much paint on your paintbrush. So there we have our shimmery and metallic paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut using the heart die again, but this time I'm after the actual hearts. But what I'm going to do before I cut is put some double sided sticky on the back so that my hearts are sticky. So what I want to do now is take the sticky off the back of the hearts and then I will be able to put them in the aperture that I made. So the hearts are still stuck in the die but they're sticky on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that in there and I'm going to go through and push vertically down as straight as I can on the hearts so that they go through the aperture and stick to the back and they should be in the right place and I can press down 
like that and make sure they're properly stuck and they won't fall out. On the original card, I also added the dots through the holes as well. So these have got pink dots in the background. But on this one, I'm just going to leave it as it is. The shadow cast by the holes or the bit around the hole has a bluish tone. So uh, I don't think I'm going to gain anything by trying to get the little bits of sticky off the back of the dots and pushing them through the holes. And it's just a little bit different from the other card. Now, I could have just coloured a panel behind this front one uh, with this, you know, just stuck that behind and then stuck the aperture over. But I actually like to be able to see the beveled edges of the die cuts rather than just a, a flat uh, panel underneath. And it allows me to choose which bits I add or don't add uh, colour to. So with this card, I've put the hearts in, but not the dots. So that's why I like to do it this way. I have found a stamp. This is just for you and it fits beautifully in this little bit here. Now, I should have done this bit before I stuck it here, but I think I'll be able to get enough uh, firmness behind the stamp to stamp it. And I'm going to do that with uh, gold embossing powder. So I'll do that and we'll see how we get on. This might be a disaster. Okay, I think that went about as well as can be expected. I'm just going to go in with this gold gel pen and fill in a couple of the gaps. There we go, that's done. I think that looks okay. Right, now we're going to create a focal point. This one I used a variety of flowers. Don't know the brands, all charity shop finds, I think. But for this one, I'm going to build up some flowers using these. I've also got a leafy set of dies which I shall cut a few from with rather out of this and see what we can come up with. So I've got a selection of leaves and a selection of flower sizes and I'm thinking same arrangement just to balance everything out have the main flower here and I think for the main flower I'm going to add a few on top of each other like that and have a, a enamel drop or a nouveau drop in the middle but I think for this one I might get something to give it a bit of definition around the edges so perhaps some distress oxide just get the grip mat here pop those down and what shall we use a nice blue I'm going to try a little bit of chip sapphire because it is a purpley blue and we've got purples and blues here already. So just go around the edge to darken it up a bit, give it a little bit of definition. I can always wipe a bit off if I feel it's too much. So I have a little bit of glue there and then pick some up and turn the flowers so that they're overlapping. Pop that there. And then to give this a little bit more dimension, I've got my rubber mat from my cuttle bug here just because it's to hand. And I'm going to push down in the middle and that's going to make the petals come up the outside. So it's got a bit of shape and we'll give it some sort of centre once I've got everything else in and I know maybe whether I want gold or purple or something. So we'll pop that there and give it some supporting cast members. Just a few little tiny ones dotted about here and there like that maybe and 
let's see, do we want some leaves? They're all different species, these leaves, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not trying to create a uh, realistic thing. I think that'll probably do. I've got loads spare here, so I can make mo lots more cards if I want to. I stick those down and we'll just see, we'll just see how it looks. So let's get you stuck down where we want you. So there we've got a large focal point flower with a few leaves and some supporting smaller flowers dotted around here. So we've got this nice flow going on. I'm going to add Gold Nouveau drops to the centre of my flowers. It's the same gold as this embossing powder. So I think it will work well and it contrasts nicely with the flowers. So there we have two cards, same technique, different outcomes. I like them both. I think I'm drawn to this one slightly more. I like the flower with the uh, bit of darkening around the edges of the petals. This one, actually, I need to go in and give these some Nouveau drops in the middle because I gave the big flower a Nouveau drop but never gave the little flowers their centres. So that looks fine. I do like the border around this one as well. So I think I'm, I'm leaning towards the bluey purple one. Right, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you could do with dyes and media in your stash. If you have enjoyed the video, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you back here very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.